Hi, and welcome to the ABCs of Autism. I'm Dr. Lynette Louise, the Brain Broad. I'm really excited about today's episode because it is G. We did A for, oh, I don't need to go through them all. We're at G. Okay, we're at the letter G for games. Now, right now, all over the globe, people are trying to stay home and not go out and their kids are there with them. So that probably includes you. And you may be saying, what am I supposed to do with them? Well, I'm gonna give you a trick for homeschooling. Number one, you get rid of all the extraneous teaching. You don't have to learn most things that schools teach. Number two, you isolate your teaching to the categories of challenge. So what are they? Communication, sensory integration, see how this works, perseveration, and of course, social skills. So all of your games should really revolve around that. You know, you don't really have to worry too much about things like reading and math. Now, if they fit, great. But they're easy later when these things are fixed, or at least made better. So let's go quickly through a couple of examples. If you have a communication problem, you have a child who just won't talk. Maybe they script all the time. Every commercial they ever saw, they know all the words, but they won't say hello. It's very frustrating, isn't it? Most of them will say no. Children love the no game. I play this game with almost every child who's at beginning language level. You bring them a toy and they say no and you throw it away and say, not that one. And then you bring them another toy and they say no and you throw it away and say, not that one. You can do this for the longest time. But before you know it, they get used to saying no and they get kind of desirous of you staying and playing with something. And then you go, well, this one's yes. And before you know it, you're doing the no and yes game. And of course, it evolves and grows into the name of the item, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. If your child's already doing that well, just take the concept and apply it to something else. Just remember, that one I told you was really fun. So it needs to be fun. People that call it play therapy because it's a toy and then make it work, they're lying. Make it fun. This is play. All right, quickly, I'll give you a couple more. Sensory integration. I have had a lot of kids that hate to have their hair washed, so I help them with their self-help skills by getting them enjoying the feeling of having foam in their hair. In fact, you'll be able to watch what used to be a violent young man doing that exact thing with me on Fix It in Five Season Two. That'll be on YouTube next week. All right, let's keep going. Just keep that sensory stuff coming. If they like to smell everything, go get everything that you can think of that smells cool. Lemons and perfumes and just have fun. Herbs, mint, it, it can be so much fun. And you play with it and you add communication. So you keep on working these three things no matter what you do. All right, so that's quickly social skills. I just did that in the last video, but let's just say while you're playing, try to work something in that would create kind of a connection and an awareness of the connection. Too often, family members forget to say, hey, see, we do that because we like each other. So it goes unnoticed by both of you. Don't do that, don't waste that moment. Create a bridge, hey, you and I just played together because we like each other. Teach those social skills, make them real for both of you. It feels really good. Perseveration's my favorite. When a child likes to do the same thing over and over and over again, that's when I can teach multitasking. If they like to line up blocks, for miles you've got the same line of blocks. While you're helping them do that and admiring that, you can have a conversation. You, it'll be about the blocks, but it'll be multitasking because it's conversing and lining up. Go for it, you can do it. Build from what I gave you. I have a birthday to go celebrate, so I'm out of here. My name's Dr. Lynette Louise, the Brain Brown. You've been watching the ABCs of Autism. This was the letter G.